Hey there everybody, Big Malcolm here and this is my video log for Saturday, October 19th, 2019 AD. And today I will be reviewing for you Greaser Jack Hair Pomade by Mostar Slick by Dixie Cowboy. Mostar Slick's Greaser Jack Hair Pomade by Dixie Cowboy. Yeah. So, a little bit ago, um, I decided to grow my bangs long because I'm sick and tired of them getting in my face. And I was also sick and tired of them, um, sick and tired of cutting them. So, yeah, I decided to be a lazy bitch and just grow them back out. So, yeah. And instead of using bobby pins or anything like that, I decided to use pomade because I used to use pomade back in high school and uh, college. So, uh, Lone Star Slick. This is one of the best things about it is that are the graphics. I love their graphics. Little tombstone right here, little jack o' lantern right there. There's the greaser jack jack o' lantern right there with the Elvis hairdo pompadour. Then on the back, Lone Star Slick, little greaser skull, pomades, wax grease, lonestarslick.com, and also dixiecowboy.com. Open it up. Do, do, do. Wax pomade. It's okay. It's uh, just a little bit hard. All you have to do is drag your thumbnail across the pomade until your thumbnail is covered in uh, pomade. Close it back up. Or not. And put it in your palms. Melt it by rubbing your palms together till it's nice grease and there are no more little white beads anymore. I'm gonna work those last two and work into your hair, work into your hair. I see a little white bead right there. Yep. <laughs> okay, and then you know, get a comb. Work the pomade through, work the pomade through. So yeah. Now I really like this pomade. It has a great smell to it. It's a uh, pumpkin spice with uh, a nice amount of cinnamon in it. Oh yeah. And the only downside to it is that it is a a uh, hard wax pomade, meaning once winter gets around, once it starts to get cold, I'll need a hair blower dryer to uh, melt the wax or use a guitar pick or spoon to scrape some out and then melt it under some hot water. Not the whole can, just a little sample. And uh, when it comes to shine, it's not much of a shine. It's a matte effect sorry you can see some of my dead skin right there i had this hat on so yeah um not much of a shine but they do have pomades with a very high shine so you can get that john travolta straight out of the shower damp hair effect so yeah that would be their greaser hair pomade um this one has a matte effect so you will need like brilliantine or something like that to give the damp hair uh, effect. So, yeah, mad effects shine. The workability is great. The smell is great. Um, oh, organic pomades versus that other stuff. So, uh, Malcolm, why organic pomades and why not? Murray's World Crown or any of those uh, mainstream uh, pomades. Well, I'll tell you why. The mainstream pomades, um, they put a great amount of mineral oils, and plastics, and other trash in their pomades, which kills the hair follicles and clogs the pores that your hair grows out of, causing you to go bald. And me personally, I do not want that to happen. So therefore, for me, it's going to be organic or nothing. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, they do have some pomades that do have uh, mineral oils in them, but 
they'll only do that if you order that stuff. Otherwise, they're completely and utterly organic. So yeah. Also, uh, their pomades only run like ten to twelve bucks, and you know what? That's a good price. I've seen organic pomades go up to like forty bucks, and it's four ounce ten. Who wants to pay 10 bucks per ounce? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Why 10 bucks per ounce when you can pay a whole lot less than that and still get the same quality? It's, yeah. It's, I have not been let down so far by this company once. Um, I have four of their pomades one pomade I, I don't use because it has petroleum in it i just keep it around for the scents <laughs> so yeah um the other one is a christmas scented pomade which has great scent also completely organic their other pomade is their greaser pomade which is uh water-based and has a great shine to it and great hold and unlike a lot of other water-based pomades, that one doesn't dry up. So yeah, this stuff won't dry up. Well, not, not really. It's the thing about organic pomades is that like on the third day it's in your hair. So like say you put some in your hair Monday on Wednesday, you might want to put more in. So yeah. That's another thing about organic pomades is that usually on the third day you have to put more in. So yeah, but it, it, it's great. It's great. Um, I totally recommend it. Uh, if you like or the organic pomades, you want to keep your hair, uh, you're a pumpkin spice freak or a Halloween freak. So yeah, like me. <laughs> so yeah, um, I completely and utterly recommend it. They're on Etsy. Um, it's going to take like about a week uh, to get out to you. Uh, they're located in, I want to say, Decatur, Texas. I'm in San Francisco, California. So, yeah. And that's all I got to say. Yeah. Great hair stuff. Great price. High quality uh, ingredients. Coconut oil, yojoba, jojoba, however you pronounce oil grapeseed oil uh, and then they put stuff in for the scent so yeah I highly recommend it so uh, yeah this is uh, Big Malcolm signing out saying peace out everybody